all right by your printing colleagues. So let me present you our new star product, the Rec for Life. In this version, we have maintained the robustness and modularity of our previous model, the BioB1, and we have included several upgrades and new developments as well. First, for the design, we have created a much lighter equipment with less than 30 kilograms thanks to the material used for the external covers with ease in ABS. In addition, we ensure that the accepted conditions are maintained during the whole bioprinting procedure by including two lateral openings that facilitate the laminar flow while working in tissue culture cabinets. As for the print head, the system integrates an independent movement of the tools in the set axis and a mechanical extrusion mechanism which allow both for the slow and gentle deposition of the biomaterials while working with sensible cell types, for example, as well as high pressure flow speeds for viscous and stiff hydrogels. You can fully personalize the printhead configuration with a wide range of advanced tools including a heated syringe that comes with the standard configuration, then you can also add an ultra-high temperature metallic syringe and cool components for ensuring low temperatures in the whole extrusion system. You can also include a UV light for polymerization and cross-linking of hydrogels and a double thermoplastic extruder system to create complex constructs. To facilitate the versatility of configurations, we have integrated a plug-and-play system to easily exchange tools in a fast and convenient manner. Lastly, for the print bed, which comes heated as a standard, you can work with all types of tissue culture plates, including petri dishes and multi-wells. More importantly, we have also developed a high-precision automated calibration for each of the bioprinting tools, which works with a laser system that places the nozzles at the desired locations in the sex, X and Y axis. The BioPrinter comes with the new version of our intuitive but advanced proprietary software, which can be also adapted to the needs of your research projects. With this software, you can select and control each of the BioPrinting parameters. The first thing is to define the printing configuration by selecting the tools we are going to use in our printhead as for example 3 ml syringes and the UV light. And then we can go and select the printing platform in which we will culture our biological constructs. Here we have all formats available, from regular petri dishes to brand specific multi-well plates, including from 6 to 96 well formats. This software also allows you to upload and successfully bioprint any kind of STL file you might find useful from an external source, one that you have designed yourself, or even launch the G code published in a scientific paper. With the software, we also have the default STL files of cubic and cylinder structures. So once uh, we have selected the type of piece that we want to bioprint, we can fully configure it in terms of external settings and internal parameters. So first, we can define the total number of layers by controlling the ratio between the total height of the piece and that for each of the layers. The system also allows for working with all types of internal patterns, such as diagonal, hexagonal, or even creating solid structures while creating and controlling the pore sizes of the internal mesh. The software will also tell us a recommended flow speed according to the nozzle diameter, layer height, and printing speed that we have previously selected. However, we can manually introduce it according to the composition, the viscosity, and the mechanical features of our bio inks. In the case that we want to create more complex biological constructs of multiple cell types, for example, or co-cultures with different biomaterials, we can fill the pores of our structures with different types of infill models, select the layers, volume, and the number of pores to be filled with that bioink. So it is important to mention that our systems work with different bioprinting technologies, including fused deposit modeling, then also injection pore filling, as we are seeing in the video, or even injection volume filling. So uh, once we have a complete printable mode, we can see a recreation with all the layers and the color of the tool that is going to be used. And then uh, we can uh, select which ones we want to see to then start to print. So the new cell you see in this video uh, has a diameter of 250 micrometers, 
but we also provide other types of nozzles, including metallic ones of diameters as low as 150 micrometers. So in this case, we are bioprinting a wonderful honeycomb structure with a gelma bioink and 2% of alginate, which is particularly useful for bone healing or cardiac regeneration patches. But as I mentioned before, you can print any type of a structure according to the tissue of interest and the needs of your project. In fact, our bioprinting systems have been now validated from researchers in more than 25 countries, working in a wide variety of research lines including biomaterials development, skin bioprinting, bone and cartilage regeneration, and also 3D models of cancer. So at Regima 3 d we have the main philosophy of personalizing our equipments for the very first piece to each collaborator and the research areas of application, so we will be more than happy on assisting you to drive your research forward. I am Daniel Sirmino, Business Application Specialist at Regima 3 d Thanks very much for watching.